For much of his professional career, keeping track of eastern tent caterpillar populations and understanding their potential for harm was not high on the list of important things to do for UK entomologist Lee Townsend. Tent caterpillars are really not much in the way of a problem in terms of tree health, but they create these large bags in the trees that are full of big, hairy caterpillars. And it's one of the common spring insects that, as they finished feeding and began to wander, caused a nuisance to people and, anno and an annoyance that was part of uh, late April and early May. That's pretty much their biggest offense up until just a few years ago when MRLS came into the picture. Townsend was referring to the spring of 2001, when Kentucky's horse industry was devastated by an outbreak of mare reproductive loss syndrome. Over a two-year period, 30% of Kentucky's thoroughbred foal crop was lost, and the economic damage exceeded $330 million. Research and extension professionals from the UK College of Agriculture, local veterinarians, farm managers, and regional research labs studied a host of possible causes. What they eventually found was that an unusually large outbreak of tent caterpillars had found their way into the diets of many unsuspecting thoroughbred horses with devastating results. UK reproductive biologist Karen McDowell was part of the team that finally pinpointed the exact cause of the caterpillar's deadly attribute. The problem is the hairs of the eastern tent caterpillar poke millions of holes in the intestinal tract and that allows bacteria from the intestine to reach the fetus and kills the fetus. So attempting to track population fluctuations and scouting for eastern tent caterpillars has become an important part of the early spring activities for Townsend and for many horse farm managers throughout the region. We get a pretty good number of calls from horse owners that are aware of the experiences that, that occurred with MRLS. They have animals, they've got cherry trees in the tree lines, they're looking for what they can do and in some cases if land is a possibility, just moving the horses, keeping them away from tree lined areas where the tent caterpillars are active can be sufficient. Sometimes if uh, land is an issue and there are not alternatives to move horses then they look at the kinds of things such as physical removal and in some cases insecticide applications. McDowell warns that while Kentucky was the site of a severe outbreak of MRLS, horse owners here in the United States and abroad must stay alert to deal with increased caterpillar populations. The reports out of Australia where mares aborted with symptoms identical to MRLS, they do not have eastern tent caterpillars, but they have a hairy caterpillar called processionary caterpillars, and mare abortions were associated in fields where they had high populations of processionary caterpillars. So I don't think that it's a problem unique to central Kentucky by any means. I think it's a problem wherever pregnant horses are exposed to high numbers of hairy type insects, hairy type caterpillars. For Growing Kentucky, this is Mark Eklove reporting.